Welcome everyone, this is Alex for the Coast Spot, and today we're going to check out the Wisconsin State Fair and give you a full tour of the entire midway of all the rides. And then after that, check out some of the food and exhibits, uh, things that uh, interest me the most and I think you should check out. Uh, the fair runs until the 14th of August and the mission price is 17 for adults and children from 6 to 11 are 12. Credit cards only. You can purchase it online, but you can save a few bucks by avoiding the processing fees by getting it here. But although you will have to wait for quite a big line if you do that. I also forgot to mention that parking, at least inside of the racetrack, is $15. I'm not sure if there are any other options, but that is obviously the easiest to uh, go by. Once you get into the fair, if you head to the right and follow the sky chair all the way down, that's where you're going to find all the carnival rides. First we're going to see the Maid Midway and then off to the left is the Kid Midway. So uh, let's go and not be distracted by all this food. I will let you know though, unfortunately I cannot try any food for the most part. Uh, on a pretty strict diet right now, so fair food is really not on it, but I could have a pork chop. So low carb, low sugar diet, unfortunately. So uh, anyways, that's enough about me. Let's uh, go check out all the rides. I'm excited, very excited. So this is my third state fair in a week. And uh, we did Ohio and Indiana. So if you wanna check what's going on there, go ahead. And uh, people ask me if there's shirts that you can get at those fairs about the Wisconsin State Fair. As you can see, there is official fair wear. And since there seemed to be some interest in the other videos, we'll uh, take a look at it really quickly before we head to Spin City. There you go, lots of fun. Wisconsin State Fair branded merchandise. Very fun. And uh, pretty good price. At least for that one. The fair rides typically open an hour after the fair opens, which is at 10 a.m. Goes till uh, 10 p.m. I think pretty much every day. And then uh, 12 on, I think the weekends more or less. So. Here are prices. There is a wristband for $40. Uh, they're only available until 7 p.m. Then you're gonna have to use tickets. And they're only sold until 5 p.m. And of course, if you buy more tickets, you uh, save a little bit of money. All right, so you can buy your tickets right here from all these booths, but they do also have machines around the fairgrounds that you can uh, buy a rechargeable card for. So if you wanna get something other than a wristband, uh, do that and avoid the line. All right, well, we'll just go around the midway clockwise, both of them. First off, you have some amazing smelling meats over here. Some George's Fun Foods. Oh my goodness. And Philly cheesesteaks. So good. So first ride over here. It's gonna be the classic wave swinger, which is a swing ride. Lifts you up tilted, and a little tiny little chair with tiny little chains supporting you. you kind of feel like you're soaring and dipping through the sky. Always a fun time. We have more and more things that smell amazing. Over here is our first of many fun houses, the Magic Maze. It's probably the most basic one. Has a mirror maze on the bottom, some wacky mirrors at the top, and a little uh, spiral slide to end it. There are, of course, plenty and plenty of games. Do take the same rechargeable cards that the rides take, so one-stop shopping there for ride credits and game chip credits. Our next one here is Orbiter, which is a lot of fun. It uh, spins around, kind of like a scrambler, but then arms lift up and you're uh, all of a sudden 90 degrees looking straight down at the ground as you twist at a pretty high rate of speed. A lot of fun. This is uh, one of my favorite spinning rides. Off to the right is Cliffhanger, which is a, uh, it's very similar to a paratrooper except you're lying down in these stretchers more or less. and. Uh, get lifted up and 
it's like a hang gliding simulator. You, you uh, go up and you dip and dive. It's fun. Uh, not too comfortable though, in my opinion, but it's fun. Over here, the Skymaster, which is going to be the only ride in the fairgrounds that actually takes you upside down. It's not currently open, so I'm showing you footage from uh, the Ohio State Fair. And next is Techno Power, which is almost identical to Orbiter, really, except you have uh, hanging seats instead, so your feet are dangling, and it goes much faster than the Orbiter does. And across the way again is the Tilt a Whirl classic fairgrounds attraction where uh, gravity determines whether you spin a lot or maybe not so much. All it depends on your weight. You, of course, can uh, affect it a little bit by shifting your body weight around. Actually, give yourself a better ride. Next up is the Sizzler, very, very similar to a Scrambler. This ride runs on two different axes, makes you feel like you're uh, part of a uh, egg scrambler, basically, as you duel the other arms and uh, whip yourself from one side of the platform to the other. Classic fairground ride, of course, and uh, they have one, of course, why wouldn't they? The only adult coaster at the fair this year is the Galaxy, which is most common roller coaster type that you'll see at a fairground, but still a lot of fun. Two big drops at the beginning, and then a few uh, spiral helixes that lead to a few dips at the end of the ride. Alright, Chicago Galaxy. Let's see how this is compared to a one car ride. Pop of air time there. Here we go again. Let's go. And another one. And here is the Alpine Bobs, which you uh, dip, dive, and swoop out. Kind of feel like you're either flying or experiencing a bobsled run. A lot of fun, and you do go forwards and backwards. And here's a three-level fun house, New York, New York. Look at all this. You have those things where you gotta scoot yourself in, you got a rotating barrel, you have shaker boards, you have punching bags, and then look at that spiral slide. This is the one you wanna do if you don't have a wristband, that's for sure. Look at that, you spiral around one, two, three, four times. Nice. Here's Beach Party, which is definitely the most unique ride here. You do not see these at American fairs very often. They're more of a European thing. A lot of fun. It really twists you around, uh, depending on your weight distribution. Unfortunately, I did it, and I was uh, perfectly aligned with the two kids next to me. But uh, if you're off balance, man, you're going to spin a lot. They did have a really short cycle, though, unfortunately, which tends to be the way it is when you have wristbands. Over here is Area 51, which is a Gravitron, kind of my nemesis. Go inside, you're laying down at a 45 degree angle on a stretcher, you spin real fast, the stretcher gets lifted up the side walls, and then you get stuck to the wall as everything in your body feels like it's being crushed by difficult force. A lot of fun, if you can take it. And over here is the second dark ride to Haunted Castle. I haven't given this one a go, but uh, I, if you're going to pick one of the uh, dark rides, definitely pick this one. It's much longer. It's got two levels. It's seven tickets, so I would still consider uh, doing it on a wristband, but there it is. It looks awesome from the outside. Look at that. Look at that uh, goblin up there, or witch, whatever she is, stirring her pot. And then we have a few more rides off to the left and the right. A lot of this we've already seen from the other side. This is actually where you get onto the tilt the row. And you have the Barrows of Fury, which is uh, your swinging ship ride. I always say. 
right on those end seats. That's where you get the most height and the most airtime. And here are your Dodgeons. Of course, bumper cars, you gotta have them. Uncontrolled mayhem. I gotta say, when you go to so many carnivals and fairs like I do, occasionally you get a little tired of seeing the same thing, so when you see a lot of effort put into it, like Big Bamboo, look at this tiki themed fun house. Oh my goodness, I love it. Look at the crocodile. Or alligator, whichever one, I'm not sure. Look at this. It's like life preservers, nets. Yeah, I don't think it's all that special, honestly. It's got crazy mirrors and a few climbing things, but the presentation is uh, awesome. I love it. Oh yeah, you got that shark there with the LCD screen. And you exit through a boat that has a rotating barrel on it. That's so cool. Our last ride in the adult section is going to be the tornado which is uh, a ride that lifts up and turns and twists and then it's like a teacup where you can actually spin it as fast as you choose to. All right let's go over the Kid Midway. First up over at the Kid Midway is going to be the Super Slide which is a four dip slide three lanes so you can race your friends. Super fun and provides a nice little uh, overview from the top there of the entire Midway. Our next ride is going to be the Kite Flyer, which is very similar to the Cliffhangers. Our next ride is going to be the Rockin' Tub, which is such a successful ride by Zamperla. There's so many of these been made, like nearly a thousand in just about 15 years. But regardless, it rocks back and forth and twists. And then halfway through, it goes the other way and kind of goes even faster. Great ride for both adults and kids to ride together. And next up is Willy the Whale, which is a little spinning ride that goes up and down as you go around. Uh, adults can ride on this one. Usually they're smaller and you can't. And then this really cool ride is this motorcycle ride. I love the motorcycles on a stick. And then uh, adults actually can ride in the sidecar on a couple of the cars, but it goes around. The kids can. Uh, beat their horns and uh, occasionally the motorcycles tip up and do wheelies. And then over here is going to be the Pirates Funhouse, which is a very simple funhouse. And then you have the Ladybugs, which is a mini Himalaya, which goes forwards and backwards. And it uh, gives you little bits of uh, weightlessness as you go down the dips and you crush your partner on the outside of the ride. So be sure to have the uh, larger one on the outside. And then our first kid coaster is going to be the Puppy Express, which is a uh, wacky worm. Very, very cute. A little dachshund on the front there with, uh, with glasses. Uh, this is a very simple and common uh, roller coaster in the Ferris circuit. Go up the lift hill, do a few dips and wiggles, and then uh, go down a big drop and a fast curve at the end. There are two Ferris wheels at the fair. A giant one that we'll show you later, and it's a... Uh, Moderately sized one, Eli Bridge one. I love these ones. These are fun. Very uh, open feeling to them. So if you don't like heights, this one might get you a little bit as far as the fear factor goes. Here's Dive Bomber, which kind of looks like a Dumbo type of ride, but uh, you just dive and rise up while you're going around. Uh, kids do not control this one. Never seen this before. It actually looks kind of fun for them. And here's the safari train. We got an elephant, a lion, a zebra, a giraffe, and a monkey. So this is just a simple oval little train ride. Takes you around. I love the cars. They're fun. Across the way from the safari train are the monster trucks. This goes around in a circle and the cars do a little wheelie twice every time they go around. Then we have uh, the monkey maze, which is identical to uh, the magic maze that we saw before. The first one we saw, identical. So you got the mirror maze, wacky mirrors, slide. Definitely the uh, least exciting one of the fair. Then you have the beetle bobs, which is a miniature alpine bobs. Never seen one of these before. Very, very tame as it swings around. 
and it does go backwards as well. Then here's our final roller coaster, second kick coaster. It's the Dragon Wagon. Go around like three or four times. If you sit in the back seat, that Helix is actually pretty wicked. So yeah, little lift hill, Helix, back in the station. Fun but simple roller coaster. All right, this is quite bumpy right here. And you can whip to the left here. And you can just absolutely whip off from the Helix. It's uh, pretty wild for a ride that is literally 10 feet tall. And across the way, just like the wave swinger, but smaller, is the lolly swings, which uh, takes you up and dips and dives you when you're in these little seats. Fun. And what has to be the most adorable thing here are the bumper boats, little mini bumper boats. They're world famous kitty bumper boats, apparently. They're so cute. They have the attendants in the pool to help them out. They get stuck or spin them around more. Freaking adorable. And then you have Arabian Days, which is our final fun house. You have those wacky steps. You have this rotating thing here by the uh, very mesmerizing lady. You got this uh, wacky bridge that's shaking up, you up and down. And then there's a uh, rotating barrel at the end. There it is. And then over here. Very similar to the lolly swings, except this time you're in a little balloon. You get lifted up and you tilt and dive, but the big difference here is that you can spin these cars as fast as possible. Kind of like the Tornado, basically a smaller version of the Tornado that we saw earlier. And finally, they gotta have it. They have a little carousel uh, with two chariots in case you just want to sit and go around, or horses that jump up and down, galloping along the way. All right, well, I think that's it for the Midway. Let's go check out some food, some exhibits, and whatever else is going on here at the Wisconsin State Fair. As we leave the Midway, the first thing I, I'm very excited to see is it's a craft beer patio here. Let's see what they have. 15 beers on tap, it says. Thank you. Now this just looks delicious. I mean, anytime you have cheesecake, I'm kind of sick, it's great. But look at that, you have the double wide ice cream cone. Looks so good. They're definitely about drinking at this fair. Lots of stands. And again, beer prices are relatively good way cheaper than you're gonna get at a sporting event these days. So, I appreciate that. So Skyglider Lowe's right at the entrance to Spin City. It is $5 for one way, $8 round trip. Nice. If it opens, we're gonna take a trip on it. In case you need it, right near one end of the Skyglider loading platform is a baby care center. And look, stuffed pretzels, yum. Pizza. Of course, with most state fairs, there's plenty of animal exhibits, including a barn building just for cows. They look happy. Then in the Coliseum, they have a bunch of judging competitions for farm animals. Let's go see what's going on. We got cows right now. Those are some pretty cows. Moo moo. We had to try out the Wisconsin Products Pavilion. Let's see what's in there. Excited about that. Inside of this building smells amazing. There's so much amazing stuff in here. Like this small batch of ice cream. Wisconsin apples and potatoes. Get some baked potatoes. Mm. You have another one of these uh, micro bars. Craft sodas and beer. The aroma of the maple syrup is amazing. And they have the uh, maple syrup lollipops. 
I know my fiance would be buying one of those or a few of them. Oh my god, everything is amazing here. Oh, look at all these cheese. Dairy products contest winners. Oh, look at all this cheese. Looks so good. Cheese curds. Monterey Jack. Feta. Oh. I want it all. Looks amazing. You can just get a cheese sandwich here, of course. Wisconsin. Everything in here looks amazing. I definitely want to uh, come back at some point and try a lot of things that I can't have currently. This is fun. There's a little stage right here and a giant sports bar and grill right at the center of the uh, main midway. It's a lot of fun. Oh, they got mini donuts. Those, those are so good. You can get them with cinnamon, powdered sugar, or both mixed together. A bag of donuts, seven donuts for four dollars. Not too bad. This huge marketplace of uh, a bunch of uh, merchandise. Oh, look at this! There's a giant Irish pub, Slim McGinn's. Look at that! That's a lot of fun. The upper deck there to check out the whole midway and watch people. Really good prices. Ooh, French toast latte. I love that there's all these permanent buildings that obviously have been here for a very long time. Like Millie's Italian sausage. Look at that. And we're going a little. Oh, we'll come back to all that stuff down there. Got a little distracted. Gyros. And there's a giant slide that I think I'm going to try to do. And here's the Miller Lite Sports Bar for all their prices. I will say, a lot of places seem to be taking credit card only, which is uh, obviously a big reversal from the last few years. Uh, yeah, so definitely have both. Uh, some places I think are all cash only, but it seems like there's more credit only places here this year. If you just want a can of beer, you can get it for $7.50. We also have a bar with stuff on tap. There's Left Foot's Base Bar and Grill. Gummy Bear Brat. Brat and cheese with gummy bears is sort of kind of fun. That looks amazing. I will definitely have to come back and try that end of the year. They definitely know how to party here at the Wisconsin State Fair. There is no shortage of bars. I like it. It feels more like a uh, European fair as far as that goes with the types of food that they're doing not just having it from like portable little stands which they have of course a lot of that but there's so much more which is great to see uh the ride midway is pretty weak but i think the rest of the fair especially with their food offerings is really making up for it definitely a state fair that you want to try to get out to if you're into just more than the rides and, and the atmosphere Okay, yeah, look how big this beer hall is. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. Tavern at the park. Wow. So cool. And I know one of the most famous things that they're known for here is the cream puffs, which we will definitely have to find and take a look at. And with everything here, it seems like the prices are pretty reasonable for the most part for some things. Some things are a little expensive, but some things are a really good deal, I'd say. Over at Grubber, they have cookie pie slices. So those giant cookies, but a slice of them. And you get some milk, all types of flavors. Look at that. Only a dollar a cup. Nice. Oh, there's the Butcher Boys. I like their stand. That is very eye-catching. Fluffies, hand-cut donuts. Some of the donut Sunday. Let's take a look at some of those donuts. Well, look at how detailed some of these are. A unicorn one, a Spider Man one, a big pink one. Look at that. And a peanut butter and jelly donut. Well, I'm just observing them. Mmm, they smell so good. $8 for one of these handcrafted donuts. 
Okay, we got exotic meats. Let, let's let's see what they got here. What's so exotic about them? <laughs> yeah, I'd say a lot of this is pretty exotic. Look, uh, let's see, ostrich. That's pretty crazy. Kangaroo. <laughs> Something that's exceedingly hard to actually get a safe fair is some water. So nice, safe little stand right next to the exotic meat grill where you can get some of that. Everything on for water. water. Look at this. Fresh's Kenisha. We have this brandy old fashioned s'mores on a stick. Ooh. And turtle sticks. And then you got these amazingly smelling almond, pecan, cashew. Candied nuts, roasted nuts. And you get a combo of all of them? That's cool. Let's check out what we can get ourselves into the expedition center. Check out this giant shopping cart car. Look at this. It's huge. It's got a motor and everything. I don't think I'm gonna find much here to really show you. It's all, you know, neat stuff. Some is just advertising, some is just lots of kitsch stuff. But uh, yeah, you got your farmware, your fairware here as well and then a lot of stuff just kind of gotta explore this type of building like you could get a hot tub apparently oh and they have the uh the stand we saw outside just now but a bigger one so they think oh they okay. so good yeah definitely check this place out look it's a maze of candy. Okay, normally I don't do this, but like these are the most comfortable things ever. Too bad they're like eight, nine thousand oh, dollars. Amazing. All right, moving on from the giant hall. Look at this. You got the Green Gay Snackers, which is like three little uh, sliders on a stick. Here's the Cream Puff Pavilion. We need to take a look at this. I think you can see them being made. Look at these strudels. Wow. Here's where they make the cream puffs. Look at them rotating in the background. Here's where they puff them. Oh my goodness. Cheese curds with sour cream and onion flavoring because no carbs. They're so good. If I come back to this fair, I am going straight, running to the cream puffs for sure. And I do have a small exhibit about the history of the fair. I like these old banners, and different years, all the different foods with facts about them. Of course Joey participated. Why wouldn't he have? Funnel cakes. Yes, Pennsylvania Dutch. I'm from uh, just east of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So uh, I don't know much about that. It's very cool. We have these giant carrots in a bubble car. Different memorabilia from around the years. And this fair does go back to 1851, I believe. So quite a bit of history. Look at this Ferris wheel car that's turned into a planner. That's a lot of fun. All right, time to check out the back midway. First of all, cookie dough on a stick. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Monster cookie. Triple C. Reese's peanut. And you can get it fried too. You got this little band over here at the Charcoalville Roadhouse. Find the cream puff pavilion. We have this giant slingshot ride, which is, uh, I guarantee you, insane. This is one of these ones that uses elastic bungee cords instead of a spring box. It is very intense compared to the spring box ones. The acceleration is absolutely ridiculous. 
It is uh, $40 per person for a double ride, and a single rider is $55. And not to scare anybody, but these are ten are known to uh, snap a cable a lot easier than to the other ones. So uh, I think I'll uh, pass on this ejector seat. Love the name though. And of course, you have plenty of these shops all around. This is just one of them with a giant uh, cock right in the front of it, and uh, this this cow. But yeah, a lot of these things all around the fairgrounds. It's not the only one. Always enjoyed all this kind of art. We're back to more of these bars. They're just everywhere. I love these beer gardens. That is so nice to see. Like, ridiculous. Love it. I think we're pretty much uh, to the end of the tour. There's not much more I think I need to see. And I'm also... Uh, Getting a little tired, so uh, let's go show you that giant Ferris wheel, and I think that will be about it for this uh, tour of the amazing Wisconsin State Fair. And finally, here's the Wonder Fair wheel. Only six dollars, at least today. It looks like that price is. Uh, they could change that depending on the day, but uh, there it is. Only six dollars. That's great. Looks to be about a hundred and. Uh, 60, 80 feet tall. Provide a great view of the entire fair. Definitely a different feeling. It kind of feels like you're on a magic carpet ride down these six dips. Lots of fun. So as we come to another bar, double... K's Ranch, Grub and Subs. Boogie Sandwich. Ooh, that sounds fun. I think that's going to be about it. There's some more agriculture exhibits down that way, different animals and whatnot. But I think we've seen a good helping of everything that you could do here at the Wisconsin State Fair in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Had a really good time. It's been about five hours here. And uh, I think it was a lot of fun just checking things out and enjoying the atmosphere. Look at those. Oh, pretzels. That looks good. Look, sazzes. Oh. oh, look at the broth house. Charcoal grilled broths. Oh my goodness. Homemade potato pancakes. Wow. Okay. I swear this is it. Thanks for watching. This has been Alex for The Coaster Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if there are any questions you have, be sure to put them down in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but that's it. And then we're doing uh, one more state fair, maybe two. We're doing the Iowa State Fair a week from now. And we've already done the Ohio and Indiana State Fairs on this trip. So if you want to check out other fairs, see what they're like, give it a try. Ooh, the worst bar. Let's end with that because German-inspired stuff is the best. Bye, guys.